This is the um, the long pond, the drainage at Riffley. I live here in this area, and uh, you can just see over there in the distance these Borsy ruins. So I'm not too far away from it. Yeah, so it's quite a long way from here. It's about um, about two miles from here. But this is such a lovely area. As you just see, the beautiful red butterfly. I've never seen that before. Could be a moth, but uh, absolutely beautiful. And we have all this. This pond is full of fish, rudd, and. Um, you can see some action going down there. Yeah, it's got rudd and um, pike in there. I think there's a cut few tench, possibly a couple of bream. Yeah, it's nice, nice area. It's a shame that. Uh, that we're living in times where we have the world's richest men who don't no longer care about our environment. We've got the military who no longer protect our interests. They protect themselves like corporate bankers. It's a shame really. It's a shame that we have to live and witness such atrocity, the destruction of earth. If it wasn't for the locals, the local guys, the local farmers that took care and pride in their work, none of this would be cleaned. It would remain long and overgrown. The rivers would never get cleaned. The ponds would never get dragged and cleaned. But because we do take pride in, in our country and we do, t do care about it, it's times like this that we can only sort of look down and not look up. Because if we did look up, then you'd see the mess that the military, the United States Air Force, are creating. Our Air Force are not doing it. Not that I'm aware anyway. Because this is the United Nations plan. The Rothschilds paying the military, the United States Air Force, to do this kind of thing. Which is a shame, really. And here we are, it's the uh, second day of June. It's supposed to be really hot. And somewhere up there is the sun. And amongst all that chemical and them toxins, we can no longer see it. It's times like this that we have to think and reflect on our past our present situations and take note of what we can do to save our planet what we can do to continue in our life's journeys to continue giving love and appreciation to everything You see this bit here, see those lilies? I planted them about four years ago in here. And uh, to tidy it up, to make it look more respectful. And they've come on really well. And luckily, the drainage board have left them there. They've, no they've recognised them, they've seen them. And they've left them, which is really nice. So for that I say thank you. 
and that's my little bit because as you can see here you've got these other little water lilies these are little small ones which are tiny but you get the proper pond lilies the ones that cost money this is where I put them I had too much in my pond so I put them in here look. beautiful wild roses beautiful Rambling Rose, beautiful. Notice all these, all these um, thistles and that. The tops are going yellow. Never seen that happen before. You see that they're going white and yellow, like they're bleached. This can only be acid rain. This is the result of your toxins in, from chemtrailing falling down on the first rainfall. Yeah, destroying the plant, plants and the vegetation. Evidence in itself. Baby owls, look. Beautiful. See that look? Little baby owl in the box. 